tuning in. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to Shanice B on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Shanice B. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to check out my baby boy, Adorable Boy, on Instagram. So yes, this is just part two um, of the fall get ready with us uh, decor. Just looking around at the different stores. So we decided to go to Target. Target had these nice floor mats. I'm surprised they didn't have any other fall items. Everything seems as though people would have purchased them already. But they did have a lot of candles left in these floor mats. So it was just nice getting out, looking around. Um, once again, I wasn't there to actually go shopping, just looking around. Kind of my way of exercising. <laughs> It's walking around and then also Marshall's had these uh, really nice pumpkins, a lot of throw pillows, a lot of Halloween decor. And I was like, yes, 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 I am here for this decor. And there I took a lot more pictures, but I was just like, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, you need to go check this stuff out on your own because it is nice. Um, and it just makes you want to redecorate. So I hope you all find unique ways to get out and to enjoy the fall season. I know many of us are confined to our home. However, if you're able to get out in nature, um, get some sunlight and just make sure you stay up during this time and positive and do what you need to do to make yourself feel good. That is the goal. So I thank you for tuning in. So yes, and uh, if you want to go to Carter's Mountain Orchard, you will need to pay. You will need to have a mask on. They have a lot of great donuts and uh, apple cider. So yes, I would encourage you to go um, and check this site out. It's safe because you're outside, so that makes it a little better. However, do what you need to do to ensure your safety and your family's safety. They had a lot of cute uh, fall decor, a lot of UVA apparel. Yeah, so you're able to take your children there to pick the apples. And I don't know, you can use this as an educational opportunity if their letter of the day is A and they're up there, they're picking their apples. This will be something fun for them to do. Mm, or pick. William, you want to go pick the apples? How do you know it's ice cream? You want ice cream? What letters do you see? I? I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> what other letter? like to start with the fact that uh, physical distancing is absolutely required up here um, during these uh, these busy times and if you're going to be inside of a building uh, you absolutely must wear a mask and it is very strongly recommended that you wear a mask if you're going to be standing in line so again if you're in line you're in the orchard um, buying fruit wherever you are just be respectful of each other's space and make sure to physically distance so a few other announcements if you have just arrived and you want to go out picking, please check in at the orange information booth at the end of the parking lot. Uh, we'll get you bags, picking instructions, let you know our rules and policies, and let you know where to go. 
Secondly, if you want to start off with some hot and fresh apple cider donuts, uh, step on up to the registers at the building next to the apple barn. They are coming off the machine. If you want to get a pie a la mode, maybe a slushy, head on over there. It's pretty cool. We're pretty proud of it. And we'd be more than happy to help you out. So again, folks, we appreciate you joining us. And we hope you have a fantastic time. Thanks. Oh yeah, if you're ever here and you can stop by, um, they have really good donuts. They have this new ice cream parlor. So William wanted ice cream and we're just getting some ice cream, trying to get out the house and get ready to take a break and get ready for the week. This is the only day I have off. So, and William's excited. He thought we were coming to see animals. trying to uplift people in the midst of all the chaos that's going on in the world. And not only that, but just also trying to have those tough conversations regarding issues that some people may not feel comfortable talking about, but just trying to ensure that I'm doing the right thing and that I'm being open-minded and continuing to become the best version of myself. Um, so once again, thank you for tuning in. And in the midst of you checking out my Instagram at Shanice B, hopefully you will notice some of the motivational quotes I like to share. Mm -hmm.